Hello and welcome, my name is Rob Chisholm and we're here today to talk about air law, airmanship, how to thermal with other pilots and how to position yourself correctly. We're not here to criticise or blame anybody, we're here to learn. So sit back, watch the video and hopefully you'll enjoy and learn some new techniques. Right, we'll get you flying around for about half an hour or so. So go left, Alan. Let's come, look left, more left. No, look at me. That's how much left you need to be looking. Just easy on the ground speed. Slow it with the left brake. Slow left brake and right and right and right. That's good. It's good. Hold the brakes, hold the brakes, hold the brakes. Nice, Alan. Go on, bring it down. Calm, calm, calm. Did you, did you feel all right? Beautiful. Is that all right? You're amazing. Good. Such a good you teacher. did all the work. So here's a good example. The winds have gone light because the thermals are shut off. Ground speed's high now. Ridge on the right. Pilot approaching does not appear to see that the pilot obviously could go up in a thermal. That would cause a mid-air. But they need to move out and give more room. The other problem for the pilot is the fence is coming up and they're low to the ground. Give way. Keep to the air law. So let's take a look at what's actually happening. So if you go out front and locate a thermal, even though you're lower down, you've marked your thermal, established where you're going. It's important to obviously look around, keep looking left. If you look left before you turn right, in fact, you'll know what's there before you arrive there. As you can see, the hang gliders are above there, and I'm still marking my thermal, but everyone will be aware of where I am. It's only when you get up more towards the uh, ridge height, you've got the other gliders possibly coming at you, even though you've established your thermal. So you do have to give uh, room. People do make mistakes, and sometimes you have to leave the thermal. It's important to know when you leave the thermal, things can go drastically wrong. But so really, at the end of the day, play, play safe. So I'm all right here. I'm climbing quite happily. I'm looking around, see what's going on. And as I climb, people have gone out front. So now I've, I can see them. I've got the room to manoeuvre. And I just keep going up in my slow climb. I'm out the front, free of all other problems as well, which is important. Never go low over the back of Devil's Dyke because there's a V there. If you can't come forwards, you're going to have to go downwind to get clear of the rotor. So when you're flying with other pilots, you, you really want to mark with the thermal. So here, I, you know, I, I think this is the centre, and you can see the pilot there on the blue glider. And this is in a small thermal. He's got out of it and then comes straight back in it. So it's very important to understand when you, you mark your thermal. It's not a case of the vera goes beep and you want to go up. So what we'll do now is we'll go back on to uh, a live recording so you can sort of show you exactly... Uh, the, the areas you need to consider. So if I want to turn right here, basically, I cannot. Okay, there's a thermal on in it. Come on then, Liam, keep up. Come on, tighter than that. It's not tight, it'll fall out. Come on, Liam, get that old bass around. Will you? Liam's uh, light on his wing. I can go a lot tighter. Probably, I might have to just. No. Liam, I, I can't turn, mate. So, uh, Liam's thermal in there. It's alright. Just. Uh, how can we stay in the thermal? I'm going to turn right. Liam, I'm going to... I can't turn. Liam, I wish to turn right. Yeah? He's got a far better wing than I. Oh, oh, yeah, there it is. That's yeah, very small. Oh dear. Keep pushing out, man. Bitty. There you are. That's the centre. You're going through the centre. Keep going right. And then... As you come about, that's it. Now think, where was that thermal? Where's it now gone? Because it won't be in the same place. You should have kept going right though, falling out of it. 
circle is going up in a weak affair. So there's a thermal, it's where it's moving. Think of its drift, where it's gone to. That's it, you glider nodded back, that's your thermal. Get in there. Come on, get in, use it. Well, and the thermal here is right at takeoff, sorry, and I'd fly a little bit more towards the ridge. See the other two pilots thermal in? That's, that's where it is, that's the one you had. Uh, Liam and John, you let take off and clips in. Over. So yeah, Rob to John. Uh, well, you're the pilot in charge, so do make a sensible decision when taking off, if it's suitable. John! This is worth while we're going. I am low. Why is it worth while going? Get away from this lot. Um, I feel confident, even though it's low, I'll just keep going up to cloud base. Ah, oh, there's Zorian. Got him. So Zorian's down there on the yellow glider out in front. Liam's going up and down the ridge with John. So it's interesting, this thermal, is it one thermal, I feel it is, but it's moving slowly across the ground, whereas all the other thermals are moving. Wish to know more? Then go and sign up on a Pilot Pro course at freeflightbrightonco.uk.